Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about your bass or low frequency response of your room. To try and illustrate this concept because most of you have really never heard bass the way it's supposed to be heard in a room and, and we all know why that is. We've, we've done numerous videos about that subject. But in this video I want you to start focusing on hearing or listening and feeling into the bass of your room. And if you can't do that, then we, we know we have to treat it. We have to treat more, uh, use the more treatment. We have to use the right type of treatment. We have to position it correctly. So if you can't hear into your low frequency energy in your room and have the separation definition and clarity that you have for your mids and highs, it's time to make some changes and it's time to improve the acoustics of your room. So in this uh, situation, we have attack and decay rates and we have separation and definition. So we really have three things. We have fundamental and harmonics in there too. So we have the fundamental low frequency note, we have its tail, and then we have an attack and decay rate which corresponds real closely to fundamental and harmonics. So low frequency energy has a lot of variables that we have to be concerned with. And then the most important is separation and definition which we all know we get with our middle frequencies but not so much with the low end in most rooms. So we can achieve this. We can get the same definition, separation, and clarity as we have with our mids and highs in our low frequency, but we must use the right technology in our room. We must use the one that fits what we're trying to do. We must match the treatment to the pressure level in the room and the usage. A live room with drums and guitars and everything else is going to be completely different than a vocal room. So in low frequency energy, fundamentals and harmonics attack and decay. Those two things we want to balance out. And that's what's real critical in the low end. A lot of people give up because they can't get the low end right. You can get the low end right if you're willing to make the proper type of mountain positioning of the treatment. So just remember in low frequencies we can get what we have in terms of definition and separation with the mids and highs but we have to put a little bit more effort in the low energy because we all know that these 30, 40, 50 foot long waves aren't going to fit in our 12, 13, 14, 15 foot rooms. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis so that'll help you. Thank you.